Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant's security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Sir, enjoy the show. Look, look, there he is. That's Novikov, the owner of San Green, right there. A pleasure as well. Make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, oh, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman, urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn artists. What the hell is he up to now? Why don't you take the stage? We all know how much you love the spotlight. Look, don't be an asshole, Sebastian. Whether you like it or not, you are the star of this show, and you will act the part. Oh, no, no, I am not going up there. This line is a travesty. You made me into a sellout, Victor. I can't face these people, can you? You can't make me. How about that? Huh? The hell I can't. One simple phone call, remember? Uh-uh. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't dare. Because you need me. My name on the bill. I'm no good to you discrediting. <sighs> nice try, Sebastian. Very clever. 
But I don't do compromises. Now get on that stage, or so help me God, I will ruin you. Man, I wish I had that jaw. <laughs> Stop, you look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a like a Greek god or something, you know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know, like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since college. Well, so, if he kisses your hand, will you ever wash it again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you blush earlier when you put on his makeup. Oh, what can I say? I'm human. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Oh, wow. Speaking of, that guy looks a lot like Helmut Kruger. Huh. Yeah. Uncanny. Someday you may own your own restaurant. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, great, great. Okay, now be cool. Ah, perfect. Oh, how no? Oh. Dahlia? Helmut? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing, Helmut. Waiters will be... Yeah, well, waiters. Yeah, Dan, it's me.
Dahlia. Helmet here. Remind me again. Where were you supposed to meet? Second floor. Voltaire suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, then come see me right away. up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. It won't take a second. Appreciate it. Wins, bro. Mr. Kruger, sir. Good evening, sir. Please come right through. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Wow, a real supermodel. Uh, Mr. Kruger. Helmut Kruger. Here to see Dahlia Margolis. Ah, you're expected, Mr. Kruger. Miss Margolis will see you in her office. Step right in. Mr. Kruger? Access to the auction and a private audience with Dahlia Margolis. Nicely done, 47. Please, have a seat. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show, so Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York, seek out Jessica, and do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful. Should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. 
Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right. Consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Hmm. Last resort. Cyanide. Good choice. <sighs> We've got trouble. Selena's a big girl. She knew what she was getting into. Put a detail on her, and if she shows signs of cracking, pull her out. Fine. We'll talk later. Sorry about that, Helmut. So, a toast. To a fruitful collaboration. Hear, hear. Done, 47. Viktor Novikov is next. Hey! What's your story? Hang in there. Helmut, you look dazzling to Oh, my God. Have you heard that Camilla's a no-show? Again. You know, she is becoming so what the concept of fashion? I worked with her when she was just doing shoes for, like, teen girl. I mean, she was a nobody. But you know what? She was so nice back then. So what can you do?
are we doing? I dare say things are just sped up. And then there was the year before with the straight jackets. Yeah, I think you'd look good in just about anything. Contestants, straight jackets, you name it. Oh, look, I gotta run, but I'll see you later, okay? Hey, whole conversation about saying something dumb. Jerome, we're making progress. has chosen to let us all down, I will be taking the stage in his place. That is all. Dismissed.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Wasn't that something? Sebastian Sayo, everybody. Now, I know what you're thinking. Get off stage, Victor Novikov. <laughs> yes, yes, quite right, quite right. This is Sebastian's big moment, and he should be the one up here, basking in all of your love. But do you know what he said to me, friends? Victor, he said, I couldn't have done this. This, my finest collection, without you. You should take the stage this evening. Naturally, I refused, but Sebastian, he was adamant. I mean it, Victor, he told me. A fashion line is not just the effort of a single brilliant artistic mind. No. No. I used to think so, but I was wrong. I see now that we must stop this cult of personality. That the entrepreneur and the artist are equals. That business and art are like heart and soul. Therefore, Victor, my dear, dear friend, the stage is yours. So, I proudly take the stage tonight, ladies and gentlemen, not in the name of Victor Novikov or Sebastian Sato or Sanguine. No. I dedicate this moment to the entire team who has made this line possible and to the spirit of creativity that brought us all together. Thank you. Thank you, and enjoy the after party. All drinks are on me. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. 
I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for.